Let's uh, disable the array. Go see our friendly neighbor. After that, she'll talk to us. The array was at uh, Delta Station? Yeah. Which is... Where's Delta Station? I lost Delta Station. It's on, and it's blue. <clears throat> it's over there somewhere. There's a blue one. There it is. It was way off. How oh, could I forget? Look out, seal. Do that, and then we can just go right over there. to park this thing somewhere safe ish that's safe ish nope I didn't finish taking this apart tool on me. Huh. I believe it would be here. Not that one. Yeah, there you are. Excuse me. I'm trying to be safe over here. Gotta go to the top. There you are. Nah, 
Yeah, this has got to be the way. I guess I could eat more of that. Don't have much of it. If any. What's over here? Nothing. Test mode. Trophy. Please work. Pirate radio. Oh. Yes. Satellite is down. Now Marguerite will like me. That was not good. Let me out. That's the only way to do it, Alan. Don't be that interested. It's not like I could have used torpedoes and shot it down. Oh, I got a phone call. All right, Altair. You win this round. Come find me at my greenhouse. I'm about a kilometer east of your position up on an iceberg. I have a present for you. I'll come by if I have time for <laughs> Sure. Whatever. If you have time for me and your busy social calendar. Now, oh, yeah. Gotta go to our greenhouse. Some of these. Don't have any of those. Kilometer east. No, I don't want a name. I want to put stuff in it. Save that for later. Yes, it is. You're very scary. Kilometer is still in the sweet boom. So, about where, where that is. My teeth are ready. I got bad aim. Need a modification station, Marguerite. So I can go deeper.
confuse me. Here's a nice whoa. You guys shut up. I'm gonna need to come out of these uh, sea truck eventually, so you guys need to get out of my way. Oh, friendly whale. Two friendly whales. Feel safer. But I need to come out somewhere onto an iceberg. Gotta be able to get up on the iceberg. I think right about here is excuse me, Seal. I'm driving here. He wouldn't mind getting run over. Not getting run over. Get up there. You know what I need? Cold leather gear. Don't think I need a rebreather for a while. Sharks, damn it. Well, this is where I could have used a snow fox, huh? This will keep me warmish, a little warmer. Looking for, or I could just take the prawn suit. Why don't I take the prawn suit? Yeah, it makes sense. The only problem is, is uh, I better not fall all the way down there. Hmm. Yeah. I'm scared to lose my prawn suit. I'm gonna find her. Greenhouse. Where would a greenhouse be? Doesn't look like it would be here. Is there anything here? Is there anything? Platforming. No way on the iceberg from here. It's going to go around the whole thing. No, not that way.
Any monsters in there? Hardcore mode, mode in uh, Subnautical 3, they should have like more dangerous animals. More dangerous monsters. Like they wait for you to jump in the water. And then they grab you. Oh. Make Subnautica scary again. Like you could have like casual mode, like where you know, like have fun exploring and building, but then you go to hardcore mode, it's a horror game. <laughs> that would be fun. Anyways, I'm looking for another iceberg. This one was a dud. this thing. Well, you know, this water is probably just as cold as the Titanic's uh, waters in the movie. Why didn't they just swim to the top of the iceberg? No, oh, yeah, it was pretty far away by then, huh? They crashed into the iceberg and then they kept steamrolling into the wide open ocean. <laughs> Sunk in the middle of nowhere. Excuse me, seal. Do not get run over. Same thing I did before. Uh, yeah. What was that? Hi there. Mulan and nearby iceberg detected. A hollow chamber typically formed by glacial melt. A Mulan. 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 Speak English, PDA. That's Chinese. Mulan's a Chinese word. So somewhere around here is a Mulan. Seal is chilling. I don't know where this is. Wandering around in the snowstorm. Now I can't see. Great. Hmm. 
Looks like I can get up with a the uh, prawn suit. Where did I park my truck? serene Get dark soon. I need an iceberg, then I can get a bomb. On to the next. A thousand or a thousand meters away, right? From Delta Station. So right around here. See this world is flat. If you go too far you fall off the edge. I think I can see the edge of the world from here. <laughs> Giant monsters will get you before you actually make it to the edge. Wouldn't it be nice if you like, just kept going, you end up uh, on the other side of the map. I mean, you just loop around. Make it spherical a small planet no uh -oh. PDA will warn me if I go too far I'm sure but this iceberg does not look like it's gonna let me on it damn iceberg why you gotta be so prude Let me jump on you. I'm actually really scared. No thanks. Almost made it to the end of the world. It's hardcore mode, I gotta stay away from things like that. If I wanna keep playing. If I die in this playthrough, I probably will never try it again. <laughs> you can still get all the trophies, platinum trophy. The easiest platinum trophy you could ever get in this game. Don't even have to do it hardcore mode. Makes it a little more exciting, though. Once you get over your thalassophobia, you know, you want a little excitement. Excuse me. No. 
That's your fault. Just gotta find out which one of these icebergs is the greenhouse. Now it's dark, so... Yeah, let's check this one out. I see a hole in this thing. useless. Getting laid out. Hey, what's that? Sign of civilization. Or at least where somebody might be living. Southeast of Peel. Kill me. Looks like I'm getting hungry though. Drink your pee to death, it looks like. Just minus three food each time. Starve to death eating and drinking your pee. That's where those waters come from, the filtration suit, water filtration suit. I'm a little damaged, but that's okay. Out of this iceberg, iceberg. That one right there looks sus. What the hell? Mind the trailer.
gold. I'm rich. Now I can barter with Marguerite. Yes, found it. Get my scanner ready. Hello. Hello. Satellite hasn't passed by in a while. I guess that was very good. Sam's not the only one in the family who knows. Knew what to do with vague directions and old wire. She was an original, that sister of yours. First time I met her, I was sure she was all terror through and through. Not a crease in her uniform. Sending this damn bird box to spy everywhere. Then she surprised me. Maybe a little too much. Meaning. If you really want to know, there's a PDA on the bench that can point you in the right direction. You need anything else? Don't bother me. <laughs> but you can help yourself a dream. The least I can do to repay you for getting those spine pests off my back. You can look all you want. There's more to Marguerite than any damn fangled gadget can see. I've already, I've already synthesized, synthesized an antidote and stashed it in a cave. I can go grab it and... That's your plan? You don't think it'll work? <sighs> You're thinking too small. Like maybe if you're polite enough about destroying the bacteria, Altera will come around and see it your way. But do you believe in yourself or not? I think so. You think so? Come on! Is a bacteria a threat? Or isn't it? It is. Does it need to be dealt with or not? It does. So who's right on this? I am. Say it like you mean it. I am. I said like you mean it, not like you're testifying before a rigged transgov court. I am. Great. Then what you gotta do is seal off the whole cave. I've got just the stuff. Made it for fishing, but it blew the whole ice shelf halfway to deep space. Vaporized all the fish. Okay. And you gotta hit the lab, too, or there's just no point. Actually, you know what? Let me take care of that one. It'll be fun. Yep. All right, Marge, old girl. We hate this greenhouse. So here are some pointers to remember so we never have to do the worst parts again. Too bad you can't fight malnutrition by hunting it down and killing it. So, first thing, insulation. The first few nights, the soil was rock solid. Ended up having to insulate the damn place with dehydrated kelp. Adding a thermal mass helped, too. Heat barrels of water. Probably should have just eaten the damned kelp. But, nope, my body was craving a salad. Wish I was just made of exosuit. Next, grow lights were a must-have. Gotta admit, I felt pretty proud of my first full crop of lettuce. Bet half of it to Preston. Snowstalker will leak practically anything. Always spits half of it out, though. 
Another thing we have in common. The slobbery green mess makes good compost. All right. Cool. Uh, gotta plant all this stuff now in my base, my indoor garden. Don't go too close to the edge. The edge, the edge, the edge, the edge, the edge, I'm on the edge. Alright, that was all nice and neat, but I need your modification station still. Well, what are you doing there? That's not how you swim. <sighs> Became buoyant. What do you want? Yes, what do you want? You want a pressing fruit? No? Well, I think I'm done for now. I'm just going to go make a greenhouse real quick. Hold on. Let me get close to the whale. We. Don't join on me. Gotta save the fruit. Back to base. I guess I could go raid her house and see what she's got in the back rooms. I was blocked off before by her stalker, snow stalker. I think she's got some, uh, maybe she has a modification station, maybe not. I can't remember. But I would have to go can't go more than 300 meters. Not with this. How far away are you? Oh, not too far. Let's go check out her house. Wood sharks.
They're everywhere. This is the right way. Looks familiar. Sink. She put a beacon over by her house. There it is. There we go. all your goods. Rob in your house. Oh, it's blueprints. Ah, oh, you're here. Hmm. 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 I wasn't going to do anything. How'd you get here before me? Yes. Stuff. Now I can shower finally and use the toilet instead of going out in the ocean. Wash my hands. You don't have an application station, do you? I gotta find it somewhere. Ugh. Fortnite into our voyage. I was more or less living inside the creature's rib cage. It meant shelter, and it meant food. The flesh was starting to rot. The stench was unlike anything I'd ever smelled. Damn it. As we floated, the temperature dropped, and the rotten meat began to stiffen and freeze. Slowly, almost imperceptibly, the Reaper began to lose buoyancy. 
We sank a little each day. My sanctuary was becoming my tomb, and I was at the mercy of the current and the winds. Until one day, I saw a smattering of penguins in the distance. Swimming birds usually mean solid land of some kind. I was lucky. The winds followed their path. <laughs> Hours later, I saw a blessed sight. An unmoving cloud sitting upon the water. Land. Yay. I knew my spirit as I watched the land get closer. What happened? The Reaper slowly sank, but I was no longer worried. When the Reaper finally sank below the water, I was close enough to lazily swim my way to shore. I made a note to come back for the Reaper's skull. I didn't ride the beast for three weeks to have no proof. Land never felt so good, even in this Arctic hell. Uh, anyway, just huge distractions. Uh, that's it for now. I got uh, things to do in real life. Bye. <laughs>